Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Altrady where this time I'm going to be taking you again back to Altfins and I'm going to show you exactly how I would use Altfins and then Altrady in combination to set up my trades. In the previous video of Altfins I've showed you exactly how the platform works and what they have to offer. So if you haven't seen that video before I do encourage you to check it out first before you watch this video and I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. So you can watch that first and then come back to this one. Now again, if you like these types of videos, then please make sure to subscribe and like this video so that you will get notified exactly when we bring out new videos that are interesting to watch and all about trading. We're also doing live streams now. We'll be starting the next Tuesday and we've been doing them on Thursday as well. So I encourage you to Join us with the live streams and there you have the opportunity to ask us questions about how things work in Altrady while also learning things about the topic that we're going to discuss in each of these live streams. Okay, so let's go back to Altfins. In Altfins, I've set it to look for chart patterns and I'm currently looking for buys because I'm trading on the spot market. And one thing that took my attention was the uh, Stellar Lumen um, market that has currently an ascending triangle and is bullish. And when I click on it, I can see that the short-term trend, medium trend and long-term trend are all bullish. So this is a great way to find markets and confirm that a long position could be possible. So now that I've seen this chart and seen the indicators, uh, especially with the moving averages, showing me that there's a bullish uh, market sentiment I'm going to be going over to Altrady. So here in Altrady, I found uh, XLM on Binance, which is where I'll be trading. And I can confirm the ascending triangle occurring. So I can just redraw the information and actually it's this one. And from there to there, yeah, that looks about right. So it's not this one, but it was the other one. And it might have even been, yeah, no, it's this one. There we go. So as you can see now, the triangle is broken out. And what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be waiting for the pullback back to this trend line. So what if I wanted to trade this market? I'm not really interested in going in straight away because then I'm just chasing the market. I want it to be on the confirmation. So first off, I expect the market to retouch this trend line again before there is a continuation of this trend. So how do I set that up? Well, first off, I'm going to be putting in $1,000 on this trade. Then I'm going to drag the price down to that level. So I can see the price is moving out and, and that's normal, but I'm not going to chase the price. So I'm not gonna enter in, in a market um, with a market order because then there's a possibility of me losing a half percent right off the bat. So I'm going to be entering here and I'm going to be placing my stop loss around this support and resistance level. For the take profits, I'm going to be looking at some previous support and resistance lines. And I can see, well, this one was just taken out. So the next one we'd be looking at is this one. So I'll be putting my take profit there. So I'm enabling the take profit, placing that right about there. That's for my first take profit. But I see more take profit levels on this chart that are very close. So I'm not, they're, they're, they're not too far apart. So I can easily set those take profits for a nice 10%. So I'm going to be adding the take profit and it will be there. And then the third take profit will be there. So now I'm going to be looking at my risk reward ratio. And actually what I see is, is that I'm not too happy with my stop loss yet. There's this support line. So I'm actually wanting to make sure that we go below that one. And that still gives us a three and a half risk reward ratio, which is great for this type of trade. And the risk reward ratio is calculated based on the three take profit levels, of course. Now, because I'm using three take profit levels, 
I want to make sure that I also enable the stop loss protection. The stop loss protection will ensure that once my take profit is reached, that the stop loss will be moved up to the average entry. And in this case, I'll be using the follow take profit, which ensures that if the first take profit is reached, it moves to the break even part. And if the second take profit is reached, it'll move to the first take profit level. This ensures that my, my stop loss will be trailing up and locking in the profits as more take profits are hit. Now I'm also enabling the stop loss cooldown because this market also has sharp spikes, taking out liquidity with false sweeps. And I don't want to be caught in that. So the stop loss cooldown, we're on the 15 minute time frame. I will put mine to candle close in this case and actually choose the 15 minute time frame. So when the candle closes below my stop loss on the 15 minute candle, that's when this position will close. Now that could mean that I'm risking a little bit more, but with a 3.5 risk reward ratio, I have some wiggle room, so that's okay. Now the other thing that I wanna do is, is that if this retouch, this confirmation does not occur, and it goes straight to my take profit level, then I'm no longer interested in this position. What I can do for that is I can do the expire position at. What this will do is, is that once, the, once this level is reached, and I can place it anywhere I want, then the position is canceled. So in this case, I will set that just below the take profit level. So if my take profit is reached, no longer interested, cancel the position. And now I'm all set. And the last thing that I want to do is actually making my take profit trailing because for the last target, I would actually only want to sell on a downward move. Maybe we're even going to take out this level. Not likely, but it could. Using the trailing take profit on the last target would allow me to only sell on a downward move. So enabling to take profit, giving it enough room, so roughly around the previous support and resistance levels, because we know that once it's broken, it retouches it. So actually I'm gonna place it just a little bit below. Then this will start to follow the take profit all the way up. And that's it. This is a very complex position that will be automatically managed by all tradey and I can go about my day. I don't need to sit behind the chart and watch this unfold. I can just click confirm and be sure that Altrady will execute this position as planned. So canceling here, entering here, stop loss there, and my three take profits. Now on normal exchanges, this would not be possible. Things like take profits with uh, stop loss, they only allow you to do that for one entry order and one take profit and one stop loss at a time. But what we've done here is we've got one entry order with three take profits with the value split equally. And then also one stop loss, giving you full control over the exact position that you want to take. So with Altfins, Altfins allowed me to find this market with very little time. I just applied the filters, waited for something to pop up that piqued my interest. And I can even set the alerts that are so that I don't need to sit behind this uh, website the whole day, I can just get notified uh, when something that hits my interest uh, triggers. And then I can go over to Altrady where my position will be fully managed by the Altrady smart trading system. And obviously I can keep track of my position from the positions list. I can watch it on my mobile. I can make adjustments on my mobile and really have plenty of time to do other things. So what I would encourage you to do is to subscribe to All Trading if you haven't done so. Use the free trial with paper trading, and paper trading is free even after your trial expired, to really get familiar with this platform and how it can help you to become more profitable and consistent over time. And again, if you have any questions about the platform, please do, do join the live streams. We've done these live streams exactly so that you can ask the questions and get the answers quite quickly. Now that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please click that like button and help us to create more informative content. Now that's it for today. And then I wish you lots and lots of profit. Thank you for watching.